They say diamonds are a girl's best friend. Well, so are rubies, pendants, and in fact, any other type of jewel. And while jewels mostly add to the beauty of a person who's wearing it, or the place where it is kept, there are some jewels that are more than just precious. Here's a look at some of the world's most famous jewels. Number 20. The Great Star of Africa The Great Star of Africa, also known as the Cullinan Diamond, is the largest rough gem quality diamond ever found. It weighs a massive 3106.75 carats and was discovered in 1905 in South Africa. So huge was the diamond that it was cut into 105 gems, with the biggest being 530 carats. It was set into the scepter of King Edward VII and today rests in the Tower of London. The diamond is today valued at over $400 million and is one of the most expensive stones in the world. Number 19. The Hope Diamond When a diamond sparks off many mysteries and legends, it has to be special, right? The 45.52 carat diamond has a deep grayish blue tinge, which made it extra special, as it was also one of the earliest color diamonds discovered. The diamond sits in between a ring of 16 diamonds at the Smithsonian today, and is one of the most famous diamonds ever. But does that justify its valuation of $350 million? Probably. Number 18. Panther Bracelet Wallace Simpson is known for the jewels she owns, and one of the finest pieces that she possesses is the Panther Bracelet, which has become known for its fine artisanship. It once belonged to King Edward III, but changed hands anonymously for $12 million. The bracelet resembles a panther with green emeralds for eyes. It has been designed by Cartier and is one of the most expensive bracelets around. Number 17. The Tiffany Yellow a 128 karat yellow cushion cut diamond, the Tiffany Yellow today sits at its flagship store in Manhattan. It was supposedly discovered in the Kimberley Mines and weighs around 287.42 carats. What makes it even more special is that it has only been worn twice in its long history and was part of the bird on a rock display in the 1960s. When it was valued in 1983, the Tiffany Yellow's price was set at $12 million. Number 16. The Dresden Green The largest naturally green diamond in the world, the Dresden Green weighs in at around 41 carats. The diamond's history dates back to the 18th century and is on display at the Dresden Castle in Germany today. In fact, such is the importance of the diamond that it is hoped that it can help differentiate between naturally occurring green diamonds and the lab-produced ones. Number 15. The Graph Pink Colored diamonds are timelessly in vogue, and the graph pink is no exception. It was originally a 24.78 carat diamond, and after Lawrence Graf got his hands on it, he removed around 20 flaws, and it is now considered a flawless pink diamond, with no internal defects. No wonder it has a hefty price tag of $45 million. That too, in 2010. Number 14. The Kuhinor. Perhaps one of the most controversial diamonds around, the Kuhinor has passed many hands in its history. It originally started out as a 793 carat stone and has been passed around for over 5,000 years and today sits in the coronation crown of Queen Elizabeth after it passed into British hands from the Indians. It is one of the largest cut diamonds in the world and was probably found at the Collar Mines in India, although much of its history has been widely debated. While its price has not been determined, it is the most valued jewel in the crown of the British Empire, which is valued at around $12 billion. Number 13. Princess Diana's Engagement Ring Well, any ring worn by the princess would be famous and much talked about. But what made this one so special was that it was not special at all. It was featured in a jewelry collection, and almost no one could purchase it, provided they had $60,000 at the time. The 18 karat Ceylon Sapphire Ring is surrounded by 17 round diamonds and has even become a legacy since Prince William gave it to Kate Middleton when he asked her for her hand. Number 12. Marie Louise Diadem Napoleon was a pretty legit world leader, so when he decided to gift his bride a diadem, it would be incredible, right? But the Marie Louise diadem is intriguing even without the historical significance. The original diadem had emeralds embedded in it, but they were later replaced with 79 Persian turquoise stones in the 1950s, so that the emeralds could be sold individually. There is a 1,006 years old mine cut diamond adorning the diadem, and it can currently be found in the Smithsonian. It was bought for over four and a half million dollars by the Louvre Museum in 2004. Number 11. 
Star of India Sapphire. Easily one of the largest gems in the world. At 563.35 carats, the sapphire is almost flawless and has a stunning star-shaped mark on both sides. The stone has a milky quality to it, which is probably caused by the mineral rutile, and that probably gave the star shape as well. It was originally mined in Sri Lanka and can be found today at the American Museum of Natural History. The sapphire is currently worth more than $300 million. Number 10. The Hortensia Diamond The stepdaughter of Napoleon was also the Queen of Holland, and this fabulous jewel is named after her. During the Revolution, the ring was snatched and was found later in Paris. It was mined in India and has a pale orange-pink hue. Number 9. The American Golden Topaz When it comes to size, not many can match up to the American Golden Topaz. It weighs a stunning 22,892 carats and is the largest cut yellow topaz in the world. It is currently a part of the Smithsonian Museum's collection and originated from Mias Geras in Brazil. It took almost two years to cut it into its current shape. Number 8. Orlov Diamond Part of the collection of Diamond Fund of the Moscow Kremlin, the Orlov Diamond is said to be the shape of half an egg. Its origins were traced to the 18th century in India and apparently adorned the eye of a statue there. That was before a French deserter removed it, and legends say he died upon touching the diamond. It has a faint bluish-green tinge and is considered one of the most beautiful diamonds in the world. In 2006, the Orlov Diamond was auctioned off for $352,000. Number 7. Spoonmaker's Diamond The Top Capi Palace Museum is known for its treasures, and perhaps the centerpiece in all that magnificence is the Spoonmaker's Diamond. It is an 86-carat pear-shaped stone and has many stories attached with it. One of them says that a fisherman found it on the shore among the litter and carried it in his pockets for a few days before going to a jeweler's. He was duped, of course, with a jeweler saying that it was a piece of glass and giving the fisherman three spoons for his troubles. That is how the Spoonmaker got its name, though. Although its current value is not known, there is no doubt that it is worth much more than what the poor fisherman got for it. Number 6. Strawn Wagner Diamond In the US, there's a place called the Crater of Diamonds, and perhaps the most famous discovery here was the Strawn Wagner Diamond. The diamond was originally 3.09 carats, but after cutting it, it became 1.09 carats. But while its weight might not be that impressive, the fact is that the diamond was given a perfect score by the Gemological Institute, which means that there are no flaws in cut, color, or clarity of the Strawn Wagner. This type of diamond is extremely rare, and is supposed that it was a one in a billion discovery. No wonder it's currently valued at one million dollars. Number 5. Sansi Diamond First owned by the Duke of Burgundy who lost it in a battle, the Sansi Diamond is a 55-carat pear-shaped diamond. Supposedly, it was used by the French King Henry III, who put it in the cap he wore to hide his baldness. Sadly though, the diamond changed a few hands but was ultimately lost during the French Revolution. Hopefully it is recovered someday soon. Number 4. Blue Giant of the Orient when it comes to sapphires, blue is the rarest of the colors. So when a huge 466 carat blue sapphire was found in 1907 off the coast of Sri Lanka, there was much excitement. The gem displayed a strong orange-red fluorescence, and although it was sold to an anonymous buyer at the time and went missing, it resurfaced in 2004 in Geneva. But the sapphire went unsold at that auction and was later picked up for a paltry sum of a million dollars, when its worth is much more than that. Number 3. The Olympic Australis In 1956, when the Olympic Games were being held in Australia, a mining town in South Australia discovered the largest and most valuable opal at a depth of 29 feet. It was promptly named the Olympic Australis after the country and the games and weighed an enormous 17,000 carats. It was valued at $2.5 million in 2005 and because the rock is unique, it has been left untouched. Number 2. Daria Dinor Diamond Literally translated, it means ocean of light. The diamond is 182 carats and is pale pink in color. The diamond deserves royalty, and perhaps that is why it is part of the Iranian crown jewels. It was one of the diamonds that Nadir Shah took back from India, along with the Kohanur and the peacock throne, in return for giving the throne back to the Mughals. Shah took it back to Iran with him, where it still resides in the central bank of Iran. Number 1. Golden Jubilee Diamond when a worker in South Africa discovered a large brown diamond weighing 755.5 carats, there was not much excitement because many thought it was ugly. But when it was cut over a period of two years in a specifically designed underground room, it turned into a beautiful yellow-brown diamond 
which weighed 545.7 carats and is currently the largest cut diamond in the world, valued at anything between 4 to 12 million dollars. Have you ever seen any of these famous jewels? Or do you know of any diamonds that compare to any of these? If so, let us know what you think of them in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to our channel for free for regular updates on our videos.